I think Lottie and I have become such great friends because we share a common interest and a passion. And so I just feel like working together, we can spread the knowledge and the recipes and our passion for healthy eating a lot quicker. Hi, I'm Brianne Tyson Eaton, Olympic bronze medalist, and I'm the creator of the food and food education website, We Are Eaten. Rio was an incredible experience. It was something that I had been working towards for eight years. Um, I got to do it with my husband who won a gold medal in Rio, and so that was special. When I was still an athlete in training, like I said, I loved to cook and sometimes I made up my own recipes, but I came across running on veggies. And so I made Lottie's recipes a lot. Hi, my name is Lottie Bilderici and I am a triathlete, recipe developer, and health coach behind the blog runonveg.com. I had no idea that like the Eatons were making my recipes and um, I remember it was the night of the Olympics and I was looking like my Google Analytics where people were clicking from and I saw people are clicking them from We Are Eaten. And then I watched um, Ashton win gold like that night or something and you have to reach out to them. We both share that same passion and we both love to like work out and we just have so much in common. Love cooking together but Brienne is really different than me when it comes to cooking. She's really by the books measures everything. Um, I'm more of like, it, it's an art and I just like like to cook in a messy kitchen. Not like to cook in a messy kitchen, but I could. I just like do everything at once and then clean up and she's more of like type A. Cleaning up <laughs> as you and I'm like, yeah. So we're really different in that sense. Now we're in the kitchen and we're going to show you how to make our favorite power oak cup. We came up with this recipe because when I was an athlete in training, I always wanted something either to take on the road for breakfast or to put in my gym bag for after training. And it was it had to be something that had a lot of protein in it. So we came up with this. They actually each have as much protein as an egg. So that was the whole idea behind it. Yeah, so we're going to start off and we're going to put all, basically all the ingredients in a bowl. And I think that's why we both like this recipe. It's always nice to just put everything in a bowl. So. We're just going to use um, rolled oats from now, and we're going to put um, baking powder, cinnamon. So we wanted to use an all-natural um, sugar substitute, and I love date sugar because it's basically just dried up dates, and it gives it like a nice caramel flavor, I would say. After that, we are doing some salt. And then the now organic vanilla pea protein powder. So you basically just mix all the dry ingredients together. Um, and then we're going to start with the wet ingredients. And it's pretty allergy friendly. There's no gluten in it. There's no dairy in it. So pretty much pleases everyone, which I like. Um, we have some almond milk. And this is vanilla flavored. You could use a regular non-flavored one. Um, but make sure that it is unsweetened. Um, vanilla extract and applesauce. some applesauce and this again is an unsweetened kind so it doesn't have any added sugar in it. Um, so then you just mix it all together. So once you mix it all together you split the recipe into two different bowls. So yeah we pretty much just eyeballed it and then split up the recipe. I will do the peanut butter chocolate and Brienne will do the cranberry orange. So for the cranberry orange, we basically have orange zest and fresh squeezed orange juice that we dump in, and then some dried cranberries, again, unsweetened. So I'm gonna start with the peanut butter chocolate. We just used uh, a half a cup of, it's gonna be a fourth a cup of peanut butter since we split up the recipe. And then you add chocolate chips and you can never have too much chocolate chips. And see how if you notice, normally I would measure the recipe to split it in half because now we are not having six equal cups. But well, everyone likes peanut butter chocolate anyway, yeah, so we'll have more peanut butter chocolate and it'll be fine. So then we'll just put this in the oven. We like to check on it in 30 minutes and see where it's at. Every oven is different, but 25 to 30 minutes. 
and then you have muffins for the whole week. I think this is great. You can keep it in the fridge, freezer, if you're going away, or if you're not going to eat it all at once. But or if you live in my house, they don't last the whole <laughs> week because my husband eats them all. 